17 years after the Peace Corps of Nigeria is here to get the attention of the federal government to establish it as a paramilitary organ of government. About 1,300 cadets are on standby for a parade review at the NYC camp Ede in Oshun State. This marks the end of a four-week training to integrate them into the officer's level of the Peace Corps. The National Commandant of the Corps, Dr. Dixon Akko, discloses that over 98,000 youth have been engaged in promoting peace and reducing social vices among youth and various communities. It clears the air on why the cadets are made to pay for their kids. Most of these youth sponsor themselves for the training. After the training, we post them to schools and colleges where they are going to work and being paid on a monthly basis. That has been what we have been doing as a uniform organization because we don't have the capacity. They don't pay to be, to be recruited, but they pay for the uniform and kit, training materials, even the accommodation we are using, using here. We paid heavily for it for one good month. With the shortage of security personnel in the country, these House members feel it's time to integrate them. At least every 200 Nigerians must have at least one security person to take care of them has not been met now, but if we have Peace Corps of Nigeria transmitted to Nigerian Peace Corps, then we will improve that UN requirements to a certain level. Some of the cadets say they contribute their quota to ensure peace is maintained. I just want to guide my country to reduce the level of the social vices in the country and also to make Nigeria development and grow. Instead of youths being outside there, just, you know, being unresponsible, Nigerian Peace Corps gives them opportunity to find something to do with themselves and also to be able to serve their country much more better. As the new officers are inducted into the Peace Corps, they are hopeful that the bill, when passed into law, will certainly ensure job security for them, with better funding from government to empower it to fulfill its mission for which it was established, entrenching peace in the society.